Hello everyone, welcome to Sendham Academy YouTube channel. So today I'm going to discuss with you a method which is called the Ostogratsky's method. Okay. Ostogratsky method, of course, arranged after a Russian mathematician, Ostogratsky. So what is this method about and why it is used? This method is actually a useful method for integrating. So let me write down. It's a useful method. It's a useful method for integrating. Integrating what? Integrating rational proper fractions. National proper fractions of the type of the type px by qx where q of x has repeated factors where q of x has repeated factors okay so i'll give you some examples of what kind of a function it can help you to uh, integrate so let's say we have an example of this type we want to integrate an expression of this type dx by x minus 1 the whole square x minus 2 as you can see here here p is 1 and q is x minus 1 square times x minus 2 so this is a repeated factor right it's repeated two times yes or no so it can help you to integrate factors of this type x minus 8 divided by let's say x x minus 2 the whole square as you can see here this is a repeated factor Right, so any kind of a rational function of the type p by q, px by qx, where q of x has repeated factors into it. Okay, so let me give you one more example. Let's say I want to integrate this x square by x plus 2 the whole square, x plus 4 the whole square. Okay, so this is a rational proper fraction where the denominator q of x has repeated factors. Okay, so these have repeated factors. So first, let me briefly discuss the uh, standard operating procedure for applying Ostrograsky method. Of course, I will not get into the derivation part of it, else this video will be too long. So let's say I want to integrate p of x by q of x. Okay, and I'm assuming this is a rational proper fraction. That means the degree of the denominator is higher than the degree of the numerator and of course p and q needless to say they are rational means they are polynomials where let us say my q of x contains repeated factors so let me take uh, you know some random cases of repeated factor let's say x minus a is a factor repeated alpha number of times x minus b is another factor repeated beta number of times and uh, not only that, you can also have a quadratic factor. That means factor which are not reducible to a linear one, let's say mu number of times. Okay. So as per the Ostrograsky method, this particular integral can be written like this. P1x by Q1x plus integral of P2x by Q2x. Okay, now you must be wondering, what is P1, Q1, P2 and Q2 polynomials? Okay, let me show you that. So here, your Q1 is nothing but the same Q, that is this polynomial, with every factor written one less than what they have been written into Q of X. For example, let's say you have alpha over here, then while writing Q1X, I'll be writing x minus a to the power alpha minus 1. So 1 less than how many times they have been repeated. You have to write that down. Similarly, here it has been repeated beta times. So it would be x minus b to the power beta minus 1 and so on. And since this is mu times, you will have to write this quadratic factor mu minus 1 time. Is that okay? All right. And what is P1x then? P1x is just a polynomial whose degree is one less than degree one less than one less than degree of q1x okay so let's say whatever is the degree of q1x coming you just have to choose any polynomial with random coefficients 
but must have a degree one less than the degree of q1x so let's say if q1x is quadratic then p1x will be a linear polynomial if q1x is a linear term then p1x will be a constant like that what is q2 now q2 is nothing but it is just a one time representation of all the factors which have been repeated like so let's say you have x1 x minus a to the power alpha here so x minus a will be written once then x minus b is repeated beta times so you'll have x minus b so you can say it's a single representation of the factors which are present in in q of x okay similarly what is p2x p2x again is a polynomial whose degree is one less than degree is one less than less than degree of degree of q2x okay now having said so of course it converts your integral into a result which you may have to complete and then integrate like your p1x still is not completely known to you it will be in terms of some random coefficient right p2x will also have random coefficient and of course you have to perform the integration as well right so it does not complete the answer but yes it gives you a way forward to you know integrate something which is relatively easier as compared to the original question okay so what i am going to do i am not going to take the examples which i already cited over here so let us take the first example itself so let me call this as example 1 example 2 and example 3 so let me take example number 1 itself okay so now let's say i want to integrate dx upon x minus 1 the whole square x minus 2 okay so in this case what is my q of x so my q of x is x minus 1 square x minus 2 right so let me frame my q1 x q1 x will be x minus 1 2 minus 1 as we have discussed that it should be one less than how many times that particular factor was repeated and this will be x minus 2 to the power 1 minus 0 thereby making my q1 as x minus 1 only okay now what is my q2 x q2 x will be as i told you one time representation of all the factors okay so x minus 1 factor was there so you represent it once x minus 2 factor was there so you represent it once okay so now the result will be p1x now p1 should be a polynomial whose degree is one less than this guy and this is a linear polynomial so you'll have some constant because one less than a linear has to be a constant integral of a polynomial whose degree is one less than this guy now this is a quadratic so you will have to have bx plus c okay now all i need to know is what is my a what is my b what is my c and of course i have to also integrate this to complete my result okay so let's do that now in order to do that you have to differentiate this expression so let's call this expression to be 1 okay so differentiate this expression with respect to x on both sides right so the left hand side let me reduce the size yeah so the left hand side derivative will be just the integrand which is x minus 1 square x minus 2 okay on the right side if you differentiate a by x minus 1 you are going to get minus a by x minus 1 the whole square and if you are going to integrate this integral you are going to get bx plus c upon x minus 1 x minus 2 okay now these two are actually the same expressions so you can say that this expression and this expressions are the same thing that means this is an identity that you are talking about so let me do one thing let me multiply both sides multiply by x minus 1 square x minus 2 on both sides so what does this give me now it gives me 1 equal to minus a times x minus 2 and bx plus c times x minus 1 right okay let's quickly compare the coefficients so let's compare the coefficients of x square so comparing coefficients of x square 
So there is no x square to the left. So you'll have zero and you'll have a b coming over here. So b term is zero. Okay, straight away b value is zero. Very good. Let's compare coefficient of x. Comparing coefficient of x. Okay, what am I going to get on the left side? Again, a zero because there is no x sitting on the left side. And here we'll have minus a and the plus c. Okay, that means a is equal to c. This is a you know, useful information. Okay, now compare the constant terms on both the sides. So constant will be 1 and on the right side we'll have 2a minus c. Okay, so solving this is very easy especially using the fact that a is equal to c. So here I can say 1 is equal to 2a minus a. So a value is a 1 and c value will also be a 1. Okay, so you have found the unknowns or you have found the coefficients of the polynomials here. Now let us put it back in our original result 1. Okay, so putting them in 1. So put your a, b, c in your expression number 1. So the integral now becomes x minus 1 the whole square x minus 2 is equal to a by x minus 1 plus integral of bx plus c but there is no b, b was 0, okay, x minus 1, x minus 2. Now this integral is very easy for you to perform. So you can just write it like integral of 1 by x minus 2 minus 1 by x minus 1, right. So that's very easy to perform. Now integrating this finally you end up getting ln mod x minus 2 minus ln mod x minus 1 plus c which you can finally write it like this. Okay. Thank you so much for watching.